वेलकम टू आवर क्लास ऑन टी फाइव ग्राम टी फाइव ग्राम द टी फाइव ग्राम टेक्स नेम फ्रॉम रेक्टेंगुलर कार्टिसन कोऑर्डिनेट्स टेम्परेचर इन एंट्रोपी एंट्रोपी इज यूजुअली डिनोटेड इन ऑल आवर बुक्स एज कैपिटल एस बट इन द ग्रीक पी एच ई आई फाइव सो द रिलेशन बिटवीन द टेम्परेचर एंड एंट्रोपी यूजली वी टेक इन टू टी फाइव ग्राम नाउ एज फर एज टी फाइव ग्राम इज कंसर्न इट इज वन ऑफ द फोर थर्मोडाइनमिक डायग्राम्स कॉमनली यूज इन वेदर एनालिस एंड वेदर फोरकास्टिंग दिस इज यूज इन वेदर एनालिस एंड वेदर फोरकास्टिंग द नेम evolved from original name t capital t 5 gram to describe the axis of temperature t and entropy pi used to create a plot it is used to create a plot usually temperature and dew point data from temperature and dew point data from radio sonde satellite nowadays satellite observations upper air observations etc etc are plotted on uh, these diagrams to allow calculation of convective stability or convective available potential energy convective available potential energy we call it as cape cape we call it as. in our uh, agrometeorological terms uh, from meteorology we use always this term ca P E K. Explain the following K. A, a bit may come in the midterm exams of MSc. I used to give this bit. That's why I am telling. Now, the wind bars are often plotted at the side of a T pi gram to indicate the winds at the different heights. In the T pi gram, the bars you know, are given on the left side. Okay. uh the isotherm or uh, now see what is uh, a typical now i explain what is a typical t5 gram this is a combination of uh, isobars isobars are the lines drawn correcting points of equal temperature i used to say my students iso bars b okay bars mele bars isobars are the uh points correct in the points of equal pressure or equal pressure isotherms t lines drawn correct in points of equal temperature dry eddy bag in the atmosphere where i am standing and then you are sitting a dry eddy bag lapse rate is 10 degrees centigrade wet eddy bag lapse rate is 5 degrees centigrade average eddy bag lapse rate is 6.5 degrees in the per kilometer in the troposphere now so isobars which are uh, the lines drawn correct in the points of equal pressure isotherm the lines drawn correct in the points of equal temperature dry eddy bags the wet eddy bags saturated eddy bags otherwise and the saturation mixing ratio which we measure in gram per kg all these five together we call it as the t5 gram now the characteristics of uh, each of uh, these uh, lines uh, is very interesting i just would like to give you a small uh, description of each for 10 seconds each iso bars iso bars in the t5 gram iso bar iso bars are the lines drawn correct in points of equal pressure this is bars okay units are bars mainly bars like that now iso bars are nearly horizontal lines nearly almost horizontal lines this is the first character then isotherm i lines of constant temperature isotherm the law kinds of lines these are straight solid lines please see these are the straight solid lines dry eddy bags exactly opposite direction what are the lines of constant potential temperature these are straight solid lines sloping from the lower right to upper left lower right to because i am standing in front of you so it is exactly lower right to upper left saturation eddy bags okay these are uh, these two are solid lines these are almost uh, okay horizontal lines now so okay horizontal lines these are the 
solid lines. Now, saturation eddy beds, uh, they are these are the lines of constant equal uh, potential temperature, slightly curved. These are slightly curved like this. Slightly curved like this. Uh, and uh, vertically from bottom and uh, curving towards the left. Now I have like you I am standing curving towards my left side. These are curving towards when I am saying like this to the right side. When I am standing and I am saying to the left side. So isobars, isotherm, triad effects and saturated effect. Now uh, uh, saturation effect. Now saturation mixing ratio. What is saturation mixing ratio? This represents the constant uh, uh, values of uh, water vapor capacity specifically the number of grams of water required to saturate 1 kg of dry air at a particular temperature and pressure. Okay, that's why the units are grams per kg. As far as the relative humidity is concerned, we defined. Relative humidity is defined as it is a ratio, it is a, it is a percentage, okay. Uh, it is a ratio between the amount of uh, water vapor present in the atmosphere to the amount of water vapor required for saturation. As far as mixing ratio is concerned, as I said, it is the, the number of grams of water vapor required to saturate 1 kg of dry air. Now, combining isobars, lines drawn correct in the points of equal pressure. Isotherm lines drawn correct the points of equal temperature, dry air event, saturation mixing ratio. We get the schematic diagram of a uh, T5 gram. Now, so why and how it is useful to us? It is really the real uh, philosophy of uh, this particular uh, T5 gram is that uh, these are used in the property, I mean, uh, in the property that uh, areas, uh, of course, uh, these are all the, we, we find some common area by plotting all these two together. Now, areas contained by the curves, so whether it is uh, isobars, isotherm, dry air evacs, saturated evacs, uh, and saturation mixing ratio, all these, uh, when they are combined, the curves have equal energies uh, for equal areas leading to better comparisons of CAPE that's what I told convective available potential energy convective potential available energy CAPE convective available potential energy again I will repeat it the main reason that uh, T5 graphs are used is that uh, the property that areas contained by the curves have equal energies for equal areas, equal energies for equal areas, leading to better comparisons of CAPE. What is CAPE here? Convective available potential energy and hence convective systems in the uh, atmosphere, atmospheric systems in the atmospheric systems. Of course, uh, the isotherm characters the isobars, so isotherm, dry air uh, wet air evacs, mixing ratio I have already told. Now, here uh, I would like to impress upon you one or two main features. Uh, these are all the thermodynamic diagrams in meteorology. These are thermodynamic diagrams, you know. So, first law of thermodynamics, uh, I have already told. That's why I request you to subscribe to my channel, Environmentology Farmers and Rural Government. There, thermodynamic basics. One, basics two, I told. Not temperature, 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 temperature of air, temperature of soil, I covered there. You, after studying that one, you please come to this point, you will get further. This is also basics. I am not talking this is at once. You know? In meteorology, thermodynamic diagrams are used you know, to analyze the actual state of the atmosphere derived from the measurements of radio source, usually obtained uh, from okay upper air balloons and everything. In such diagrams, temperature and the humidity values are uh, displayed with respect to pressure. Thus, uh, the diagram gives uh, at a first glance the actual atmospheric stratification, actual atmospheric stratification and vertical vapor distribution. Further analysis gives uh, the actual base and top height of the convective clouds or possible instabilities in the stratification. That's why I am telling. 
अपर कर्व जो सिरस रूप में स्टाटस मिडिल कर्व आलो रूप में आलो स्टाटस लोयर कर्व स्टाट रूप में स्टाटस निम्बो स्टाटस वाट इज हापनिंग वाट इज द बेस् वाट इज अपर दस वै यू वेदर फोरकास्टिंग इट इज यूजफुल इन दैदर फोरकास्टिंग वेन एयर चेंजस् प्रेषर एंड टेमपरेशर एयर चेंजस् प्रेषर एंड टेमपरेशर ड्यूरींग ए प्रोसेस एंड prescribe a closed curve within the diagram the area enclosed by this curve is proportional to the energy which has been gained or released by the air i repeat once again this is very interesting this question would come even in the um, in j um, jrf srf net this question of course uh, is a must you should know it what is it when air changes this is uh, done as this when air changes pressure and temperature during a process and prescribes a closed curve a closed curve within the diagram what, what diagram this is t5 gram or t5 diagram okay the area enclosed by this curve is proper area enclosed by this curve is proportional to the energy which has been gained or released by the air so based on that whether that particular shadow given status and nimbo status is going to do some sort of precipitation or not we uh, get from here uh, this is what i would like to say uh, in addition to these things sir uh, one or two important lines uh, See the isotherms are uh, of course as I described isotherms are straight lines. Uh, all these things I told. So usually temperature and dew point data from radio sounds uh, are plotted on this diagram to allow calculations of convective stability or convective available potential energy. So why these are useful? These are useful for the weather forecasting. Yeah, as far as aggregation meteorology is concerned, basics. This is basics only. This much is enough. Thanking you for your patient hearing. Thank you very much. May God bless you.